The human race has accomplished some of the most amazing feats, like sending people into space and creating vaccines to eradicate disease. And yet, we're impacting our planet in many devastating ways. Today, we're learning about biodiversity and humanity's impact on it. Biodiversity is the variety of all the different species of organisms on Earth or within an ecosystem. The rainforest has a really high biodiversity because there are lots of different species there, while the desert has a much lower biodiversity as less species live there. The future of the human species on Earth relies on us maintaining a good level of biodiversity. Let's recall the definition for a stable community. This is one in which there's a fairly constant population size. But why? Well, having a higher level of biodiversity means that species are less dependent on just one other single species for their survival, like for shelter or food. For example, monkeys might live in trees, that's their habitat. But let's say a tree gets a disease and that species is wiped out. Well, if it's a high level of biodiversity, the monkeys can just find other trees to live in, as those will be there too. Let's say there's a species of bird in a desert that relies on a scorpion. When the scorpion dies, the birds will also die, as that's their only source of food, as there's a very low biodiversity. So biodiversity is important for species survival. But humans, unfortunately, have been doing activities that reduce biodiversity, and it's only recently that we've recognized this and tried to stop it. Let's look at three main ways in which humans have reduced biodiversity. First of all is building. We clear huge amounts of land of animals and plants to make way for our buildings. Secondly is quarrying. This uses explosives to blow up parts of the earth to get the materials that we want from it. Of course, this is really destructive to vegetation and animals living there. And thirdly is landfill. These horrible mounds of rubbish unfortunately ruin habitats and can even be toxic. You'll learn more about biodiversity in the next videos, but for now, try these quick questions on your own and press play to go through them. One, besides landfill, state two human activities that have reduced biodiversity. There's building, quarrying, and then some more that you'll learn about soon. We've got deforestation, destruction of peat bog, and farming. Well done if you got any of those. Two, define biodiversity. It's the variety of different species on earth or in an ecosystem. The important words here are variety and species. Three, Students use a formula to work out the biodiversity in two fields. Field A is a wild meadow and field B has food crops. Which field would you expect to have a higher biodiversity? This would be field A. Because it's got wild meadow, there's gonna have lots of different wildflowers. And B is a food crop, which tends to just be one type of crop. So it would have a really low biodiversity. And B. Which field would be better able to cope with the loss of a species and why? It would be field A, because it has a higher biodiversity, so it has a more stable community, as species there are less dependent on just one other species for their survival. How did you do? I'm afraid it doesn't end there. Learn about more ways that humans are impacting biodiversity in my next video. And please subscribe for more science help. Thanks and bye!